details of these motors. You got this style right here. I think this is a little bit of a newer style. And you got this other one. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but there's there's one right there. And I come around here. There's the other style that has this right here on it, this big ring for a spacer. Um, your coupling. Your coupling is down in here. It takes a little tiny Allen wrench. There's two types of couplings. There's this one, and then there's one that uses a little spring washer. Um, they take a little teeny Allen wrench. The, uh, this is, takes a, a metric shaft in here, so you, you, you get the wrong coupler, it has an eighth inch, then uh, it can slip, so be, be aware of that. Um, this is the resolver itself right here. This is a size 11 resolver. Um, here's the plug. Right here is, right here, this little black thing on my thumb is on, that is the sensor that will tell the controller that it has overheated if the motor gets hot. Uh, you know, you can replace this, uh, this resolver with one that doesn't have that, and doesn't have this tag on there. But uh, uh, just beware that if your motor overheats, it's just going to overheat. Your controller ain't going to shut down and go into an alarm state. Uh, a couple other things. Let's see, uh, this is the motor input. Now, if you ever have something stuck and you need to get it loose, you can connect a battery charger or, you know, a 48 volt or a 90 volt DC power supply in there and you can drive these motors. Pretty quick check to find out if a motor is, you know, totally shot. It's a, you know, battery charger. Uh, this, this is the, uh, the tachometer leads. Now, if you get these tachometer leads reversed going into the controller, that motor will overspeed. It's going to go nuts. It's going to try and take off like a siren, and then it's going to shut down. So, you know, if you get that, it's, if you get those reversed, it can cause problems. Um, there's three screws here on this uh, resolver. In order to adjust your cold start position, you want to loosen those screws, and then you can turn this thing back and forth. And as you turn it, it the motor shaft itself will turn right in lockstep. But if I turn this thing three degrees, that motor shaft will turn exactly three degrees. Okay, because it's like one to one. That just moves right along with it. Um, you want to you want to adjust it so that your uh, your your ATC uh, carousel plate is about forty thousandths below the spindle face. Okay, and that's where the uh, tool changer is going to work properly. And if your alignment marks on the machine aren't uh, lined up, then you want to go ahead and readjust those alignment marks. And anytime you adjust your resolver. You do want to make sure and you know reset your all your tool lengths, and if you're messing around with your uh, x or y axis resolvers, you want to reset your set point. Um, I don't know what else to say. There's it's like you know this is a, a 12 amp motor. There's uh, brushes right here. If you ever need to replace the brushes, you unscrew. There's four caps there that you can unscrew. And this is fairly basic stuff. I I go through these. I've got spares, you know. Anyway, that's about all I can think of. So, you know, if you have any questions about that, uh, hopefully this will answer it.